Hey, good morning. Man, I woke up this morning with a word that the Lord put on my heart that I want to share with y'all this morning. I'm sure this is a passage that a lot of y'all are familiar with. James chapter 1, beginning in verse 2, he says, Consider it great joy, my brothers, whenever you experience various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance. But endurance must do its complete work so that you may be mature and complete, lacking nothing. Wow. Consider it great joy when we're experiencing trials. Now, I know a lot of us, especially, you know, my, my people down in South Louisiana right now, they're just like, okay, how in the world do I consider this mess, this physical mess around me? How, how can I consider this a great joy? It's a good question. And, and um, we're going to get to that here in a minute. But let's talk about why we're experiencing these things. James says we're experiencing we're, we're experiencing these things so that it can produce an endurance in us. In other words, it's going to give us the ability, uh, the strength to keep moving forward. To, to make something stronger is typically put under stress. Is going to be pushed in order to, to make it stronger. It's like working out. If we go to the gym, um, we typically put on uh, more weights and it gets heavier and it makes us more sore. But guess what? In doing so, it, it's going to make us physically stronger. It's the same thing with these trials that we're going through. These trials get heavier. They, they put more strain on our bodies. But it's making us stronger. James says that um, it must do its complete work so that when it's all said and done, uh, we're becoming more and more and more the person God created us to be. Now, some may be saying, well, I can't, I can't. How can I consider all this a great joy? Well, James gives the answer. Beginning in verse 5, he says, Now, if any of you like wisdom, he should ask God, who gives to all generously without criticizing, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith without doubting. Wow. So if you are not able to bring yourself to the point of just considering all this a great joy, then go to the Lord. Just say, Lord, help me to be able to comprehend what's going on around me. Because I will say this, when God gives you wisdom to be able to, uh, not really to say fully understand, because we may never fully understand why, but it's not really for us to know why. It's for us to trust Him. And when we have that wisdom of knowing that we can trust God in any and all situations, then we can consider these things going around, going on around us a great joy. Why? Because his word says that his will is perfect. And once we understand that, once we put that into practice, knowing that his will is perfect, no matter what's going on around us, then we can consider what's going on especially like the aftermath of a hurricane, we can consider those things a great joy, knowing that God is going to take care of us. Hey, love y'all, praying for y'all, and uh, we'll see y'all soon.